boxing world has been turned upside down. Floyd Money Mayweather, the undefeated legend himself, has just dropped a bombshell after stepping out of the ring with none other than Shakur Stevenson behind closed doors. Yep, both guys stepped in for a spar, and let's just Floyd had a lot to talk about afterward. And folks, this ain't just any sparring session, this is personal. Floyd is on a mission, and his target is clear, helping Shakur dethrone the one and only Gervonta Tank Davis. There's a lot to unpack with this one. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this drama. We know with Floyd, there's always a catch. He's not gonna spar with Shakur out of the goodness of his heart. That's not the Floyd we know, and it isn't. This is where Gervonta Davis enters the scene. He and Floyd aren't on the greatest terms right now. In fact, Gervonta Davis threatened to knock Floyd out if he saw him in public. Yep, it's as heated as it gets. Now Floyd is a smart man. He is pushing 50, and he knows he can't face Tank in a one-on-one. -on -one. But you know who can? Yep, you got Shakur Stevenson. This guy is the second best thing to Gervonta Davis. But that's not what everyone thinks. Floyd, on the other, has seen both fighters up close. So if there's a man I'd listen about this whole Tank versus Shakur debate, it's Floyd. And he said it. Shakur is the best fighter at 135. The biggest puncher, I feel, at, at the 135 would probably be Javante Tank Davis. Mm -hmm. But the most skillful fighter at 135 would be hands down Shakur Stevens. After a heated sparring session with Shakur, Floyd knew he was right. Just take a look at his statement right after the spar. It was intense. I didn't expect Shakur to come out that strong and aggressive. He's usually on the back foot. But now I know he can switch it up, and that's something most fighters don't prepare when they fight Shakur. I saw a lot of things in him that I used to do during my prime. I think him versus Tank is a great fight. He's the only one right now that can beat Tank. I say, let's run it. Floyd was asked who would win if both fighters were to step into the ring with each other tomorrow. You can't miss out on what he said. People say Tank is explosive, but they haven't seen Shakur when he lets his hands go. Tank relies on knockouts to win, but Shakur is too careful to get caught with something. I think it's going to go to the judges, and Shakur would secure the win. Floyd has full faith in Shakur to do the job. No wonder why he posted a story of Shakur calling Tank out on his Instagram story. Yep, that's right. Say, man, look, man, your beef is not with Floyd Mayweather. You sitting here beefing with Floyd. It's a fighter out here that's been calling your name that want to fight you. Javante Tank Davis, let's make the fight happen, man. I'm tired of tweeting. I'm tired of talking about it. Stop ducking me and let's make the fight happen, man. Come on. Shakur also broke the silence on his training with Floyd. And let's just say with each session, Shakur is learning new things. This only brings him a step closer to Gervonta Davis down, and that's been the ultimate goal all along. The uh, latest news with you was um, you got in a little work with Floyd Mayweather. You, I, you know, you posted the pictures. Um, I saw your buddy Keyshawn Davis. He posted a little bit of footage. Um, I mean, I know you post a little footage too, but not really the footage we wanted to see. You know, we we was hoping to see you on the mitts too, but um, how was that? Got, like, how I was it working? It, I got it in my phone. I got it in my phone. But oh, what's up, bro? Come on, man. We can, we can get a little sneak peek on Fight <laughs> Hype. Give us a little something, something. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I be holding out sometimes, but nah, it was amazing working with Floyd. Uh, you know, it, it was amazing to see his reflexes still sharp. Uh, I was testing his conditioning while we was on the mitts. I kept like trying to step to him and like work on the inside and just test his conditioning to see like where he at right now. But oh uh, no, nah, it was amazing. Uh, he he was teaching me a lot of stuff that I ain't been taught before. That, that well, I've been taught certain stuff, but like it's like he like reminded me, like he reminded me of like old things of like stuff that when I was younger that I used to do. Mm. Mm. Floyd spoke so highly of Shakur 
So that's got to him the confidence he needs to go in there and get the job done with Tank. And I don't know about you guys, but from what I say, he looked sharp in his fight against Artem. Top, and then he splits the guard. Then he finishes down to the body. Yeah, he's that body yeah, shot. Yeah, he did. The short shot. That's all the short shot yep. comedy. Shakur is already putting the work in. The guy is in fight shape already. He's been calling Tank out nonstop while Tank's been sitting ducks. Tank Davis, I want to fight for guys that's going to come to try to fight me, to try to win, to make sure they got stuff to lose too, just like me. Um, my guys that want to just come here and just be a part of the show. Can you send a message to Tank Davis? Uh, get ready. Again? Let's say something. This one, we got it. That's this the one. message. That's the message. That's, that's the message. It. Tell him fight me. All right, well. You think well. you don't? You think no one don't, don't want to fight you? I mean, would it, wouldn't that be a, a fun fight? Wouldn't that be somebody that come in there that try to fight, want to win? Yeah. It's a fun fight. It's a fun fight to make. Uh, it's technically good. There's a lot of people probably right now like, we ain't going to beat him. He didn't stop this guy. So a lot of people probably won't even believe in me. So why not make the fight? Tank isn't just going to roll over. He's been dominating the lightweight division, and he knows this fight could define his legacy. But with Floyd backing Shakur, the odds are shifting, and the mind games have already begun. Floyd Mayweather has spent years molding Gervonta Tank Davis into the fighter he is today. As Tank's former mentor and trainer, Floyd knows every move in Tank's arsenal, his strengths, his weaknesses, and the strategies that have kept him undefeated. This insider knowledge gives Floyd a unique advantage in helping Shakur Stevenson prepare for the biggest fight of his career. But hey, Floyd tried to do the same thing with Frank Martin. Yep, that's right. Floyd trained with Frank Martin and gave him insider tips on how to beat Tang. But did he? We all saw how that one turned out. Unfortunately for Frank, Floyd's training did not account for much in his fight against Tank Davis. Frank Martin went to sleep just like most of Tank's opponents. Oh, left up the down. 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 goes Martin! Mamma mia! Six, seven. Tank sure had a few words for Floyd after beating Martin in a brutal fashion. But you already know whose corner Floyd's going to be in. There's a massive reason he's all about Team Shakur. Shakur Stevenson is our best bet to take down Tank Davis right now, and that's exactly what Floyd wants. Money Mayweather is itching to see Tank hit the canvas. And let me tell you why that is. Floyd got a little jealous of Tank. Floyd's ego took a massive hit when Tank revealed he's landed a bigger deal than Floyd ever did. Now that's got a sting, especially since Floyd's nickname is Money. But you're telling me there's another guy in the scene making more bank and landing bigger deals? Yeah, Floyd's definitely not going to be a fan of that. This fight isn't just about titles or pride anymore. It's personal. And Floyd for sure is not going to let Tank outshine him in the industry. Set you off that you was like, I got to do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh, he said everything. So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, like. He, he, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's you know? what I was thinking. Because it's weird. I feel like y'all y'all got, I would say love, hate. But it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different? Or what is it to you? No, it just, it, Floyd don't never, he felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And, I, and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, You'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, that's, that the, deal, that's a part that's of the deal. He, ain't, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing this it. That's exclusive. Yeah. That's exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Tank, don't cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. going to come out. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.